what is going on guys welcome back to some more seven deadly sins grand cross and i am very interested in how hard that demon meliodas crit because boy he drops next week i want to pick him up but i want to know how much damage he does so i'm going to try to do some damage calculations here they're not going to be accurate because there's obviously factors you know if the unit has let's say high defense or whatever like there's factors that's going to really kind of skewer the numbers a little bit but I'm going to try to see the ballpark, the range, kind of get an average of what this man is doing. So I'm going to use a green bond here as an example. Now my bond that you can see right now, he has 4,004 attacks. So we're going to round down. Let's call it 4,000 attack. So just round down, obviously. And uh, his first one star skill does 180% damage. So he has, let me bring up the calculator here. Uh, oops, that's the number there. But he has 4,000 attack. And then I'm going to times that by 1.8 for the 180% damage he'll do single target. That is the number we should see. So we should see around that. We should see like 6,900, 7,000, or even 7,300. So we should see around this range here that this man does neutral typing at one star. So just this ability. Let's see what happens here. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Beautiful. So on the money. So he did literally in our ballpark. So 7,000 damage. So now we're going to apply this very same thing to our Meliodas. So we're going to switch over to Meliodas here. Uh, bring up. Let me actually uh, have seven daily sins play in the background because I'm kind of autoing a mission, uh, doing an auto mission here. So I, it's one of those where I have to farm like five of the quests. So let me just set that to auto. Okay. Our boy Meliodas here. Now keep in mind, this is the bond that we just showcased. His attack stat at base is 484. Meliodas attacks that at base is almost a hundred more than Bond, almost. So Meliodas will have stupid high numbers. Of, I think he's like, he's definitely top five of highest attacks that in the game. 100% top five. Not sure how, if he's like maybe two or three, or maybe even number one. But uh, he has stupidly high attacks. So we're going to low ball him to 4,000 because we just showcased Bond at 4,000. Um... I mean, I could do 4,500, just kind of add the numbers up because he does have a higher tax. Okay, we'll do 4,500, okay? So let's say this man has, you know, 4,500, right? One star skill. Now, keep in mind, he does have Ignite. Um, I'm assuming this applies before you attack because then that would make more sense to me. But we're not even going to factor that. We're just going to see his attack stat with the percentage he has on his first uh, skill here. So he has... Let's round it to about 4,500 times that by 1.8. And he is doing, he's doing 8,000 damage on a one star scale. That's really good. That is really, really good damage. So we're going to rank it up. Let's see two star. Two star, he goes to 270%. So almost a 100% difference. So we're going to go back to our 4.5K attack stat times now 2.7 this man is doing 12k now keep in mind i'm not even factoring in the ignite ability that can be like 10 percent on it can stack keep that in mind 10 percent on it stacks so that's massive like <laughs> that that's really big but i'm not even factoring that in okay so let's actually go up to three star three star wow that's a big jump that's a really big jump 4.5 times 4.5. Jesus. Okay. That's a three star skill. Not even factoring in his increased damage ability from his ignite status effect. We aren't even talking about that right now. We're just talking about the percentage on his attack stat. And his attack could go way, yo, his attack can go way higher. Like, if, if you have certain equipment on him, if he's at level cap 65, if you got a full 6-star on him, like, I'm not even factoring in all that. You could probably get his attack stat to, like, 6,000. Like, let's highball him. Let's, let's friggin' highball the shit out of him, okay? Let's say you get his attack stat to, I want to say he probably could cap at, like, 6,5. Like, let's say 6,5 his cap, just for reference, right? So, his cap is 6,5. Let's say that. One star skill. We're going to times this by our cheeky 1.5 he's doing that not factoring in ignite on a one star skill 
Ignite could probably boost that to 15k on a one star skill if it applies before, which I'm sure it does. Like it just makes more sense to me. That's damage. That's drunk, 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 drunk damage, bro. Like that's insane. That's, that's a lot of damage, but okay. Let's go to two star. Let's see what this man does at two star with a six point five k attack stat times two point seven, and that equals to seventeen k. Not factoring in ignite. Ignite would probably bring it to around you know twenty four k, twenty three, twenty two. Stupid numbers for a two star skill. Drunk numbers. Drunk, 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 drunk. Freaking insane. Uh, let's do our one more. Bring it up to three star, and we get our 450%. Let's do our 6.5 times 4.5. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this mine might be dropping 40k damage uh, factored in the Ignite at three star. Like, bro, I'm, there's probably factors where you can buy. We're not even talking about crits. We're not even talking about crits, which does man have built in crit in his passive. It's insane. It's drunk. <sighs> okay, let's go to uh, Hellfire. Now, Hellfire percentage is actually lower. But keep in mind, once you apply the effect Ignite, this increased damage is for all of the damage he does, including all other skills and abilities, like all of it. So it's big. Ignite makes everything he does hit harder. So that's insane. Uh, I'm not going to really do damage calculations for the um, Hellfire here, but I will do for the ultimate. So the ultimate call <laughs> is called the Hell. Jeez. Uh, inflicts 385% damage to a single target, applies weakness. Now, why would I calculate this? Because, you know, it's, l it's a lesser percentage, but it applies weakness. Increases damage done to targets with debuff times three. So a debuff is in, uh, like... In, this is this debuff, right? Um, infest. Yeah, it's a debuff. What am I talking about? So if you debuff the enemy, is it a debuff? Does this consider debuff? I believe, like, this is hindering the enemy's ability to heal. So therefore, I would consider a debuff. So, I mean, why wouldn't it be, right? So if you apply infect, right? It lasts for two turns, obviously. A three star. Uh, one star, two star, it lasts for one turn, but a three star lasts for two turns. So if you get this off, and next turn you have an ultimate, he will get the three times attack buff. So let's factor that in, all right? So we have to do, I don't like how this is highlighted. That's kind of bothering me there. So it is 3.5 times three. That's what we're looking at now. So it is multiplied by three if there's a debuff effect. That's a lot. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead to his 6.5K times 11 wait what is it 11 point what was it again uh i forgot about the number i, I literally forgot oh wow i'm, I'm messing up right here okay three eight five times three it was 1150 right 1155 okay 1155 so 6.5 uh times 11.5 yeah <laughs> that is what he is doing on his alt and he has a combo alt with Merlin. <laughs> Let's check this out, okay? So combo alt. So as you can see, if I scroll down, it's 440%. So 440% times three. Bro, we're looking at 1320. Jeez Louise. All right, 1320. Jesus. All right, times 13.2. Yeah, this man almost breaks 100K. He almost breaks 100K. Once again, I am not factoring in Ignite because Ignite also will boost the damage of the ultimate because it is applied for five turns, which is a long, long time, and it can stop. So, bro, he's doing damage. He's doing stupid damage, like drunk, drunk, drunk damage. Now, his passive is kind of a game changer because I was actually reading this wrong for some reason um, earlier, but... Anyways, it doesn't matter. If an ally character dies, increases his character's critical chance rate by 50%, can only trigger once per battle. So that's fine. 50% increase rate. So you're going to have a downer guarantee chance critical because he has a base 15%. So it goes to 65. So if he does get a crit, now I'm sure, a, I'm sure a crit is what, 1.5 times, I believe? I think it's 1.5 times the damage, right? So, okay, let's try to do the ultimate here. So 
We're going to trade Maximoto, right? This is his combo alt times three. 1320. Let's high ball his attacks. High ball hit. Like, that's, that's a lot of damage there. But times this by 13.2. And that's a number. We're also going to factor in a crit. Times it by 1.5. Now, I'm not sure if the critical rate is times 1.5. But it, that's generally what it is for most games. He's doing that on a crit. He is doing that on a crit. Now, if you have the green Meliodas... His full counter can do more damage depending on how low your HP is. But you don't want to be in a situation where your HP is that low to do this much damage on a full counter. You want to just do the damage. That is his damage on a crit with 6,500 attack stat with the combo Merlin. And we're not even talking about Ignite. This man will be doing damage. He will be doing dumb, 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 dumb drunk damage. Like, it's insane. So, obviously, these numbers aren't completely accurate. Not sure how high his attack stat can actually get, depending on what equipment you put on him, depending on uh, who you pair him with, depending on the buffs. Like, for example, you have Helbrom, buff attack by 10%, depending on the 1, 2, 3 star, whatever. So, there's unit that can buff other units. So, if you really want to, like, wank him out of, out of the world, he might break 200k. I kind of see it, to be honest. Like, if you just apply all your buffs... If you give him food, he might break 200k. Like, honestly, he might break it. So, a 200k crit. <laughs> Not base damage. 200k crit with uh, Ignite with ignite in effect, with food active, with Hellbrum buffing attack, with other units buffing attack. Like, I can see some shenanigans. So, guys, he's going to be doing a lot of damage. They're just like a quick little rough estimate of where he's going to be hitting at. Uh, no, obviously not accurate. Because I don't have the man actually here being able to showcase him. But uh, just uh, some quick numbers where you guys can kind of see where he's going to be. And kind of see what he's going to be doing. So, stupid damage. Not sure if he's the highest uh, damage unit in the game. But he's probably around there. Somewhere around there. So, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Quick video. If you like the video, make sure to leave like, share, comment down below. If not subscribe, make it a thing. Sub to the boy. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.